Hello and welcome back to today's video. Today I'm sharing part 2 of an approachable guide to a capsule wardrobe. In part 1 we spoke about what a capsule wardrobe is, who created it, and why it's become so popular. If you missed it, I'll link it at the top of the video. I will also link the article in the description again that inspired me to create my own capsule wardrobe in this series. Step 1. If you remember, we cleaned out my closet, separating clothes into piles we would keep and give new homes to. So step 2 of this journey is now to find your unique style. I personally love using Pinterest for this, and I could literally scroll and pin for hours, however it's a great tool to put all your ideas in one place on an online board. Think of it as your fashion mood board. As you may have noticed, my personal board contains a lot of neutral tones and basics. I've classified my style as casual chic, which entails a lot of clean lines quite a bit of mixing and matching between dressy, like tailored pieces, and then adding informal pieces like sneakers or a leather pair of pants. Your style may be completely different than mine, but as you start building your board, you'll start noticing what color tones you prefer and a style you lean more towards. Pictures you pin also don't have to be pieces you'd actually wear. Maybe you pinned it because you like the colorway, or the tailored pair of pants, or maybe it was the mood. Enjoy this part, you could start creating your board whenever you're watching TV or have some downtime. Once you have a good portion of your board completed, look through your wardrobe to see what you kept and start putting together looks inspired by your Pinterest board. You might notice there are pieces that you don't have and they would really add to your wardrobe. So step 3 is to create a list of wants of staple items you would like to add and save up for. A good place to start is second hand. Look on platforms like Facebook Marketplace or Depop. Or check out your local thrift stores for similar pieces. Personally, I went on the hunt for leather leggings, combat boots, and an oversized grey coat. You don't need to buy everything at once, but slowly edit out your wardrobe and add pieces you absolutely love to wear. Remember, this is a journey. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.